What's up guys, Mr. The Reverts here, and today I want to talk about something that could absolutely benefit the Call of Duty franchise as a whole, but it could also be a huge flop, and I've had this topic run through my mind a few times throughout my years that I've been playing Call of Duty, and I do think it's a very good discussion point to talk about because, like I said, it could be a huge flop, and it could benefit absolutely nothing, but it could also grow the franchise, it could grow Call of Duty as a whole, and that's what I'm really, really hoping for if this does happen to, uh, you know, go down the path that Activision and Blue Blizzard want to do for Call of Duty. Basically, Overwatch is kind of like the main esports game right now. It's at least one of the main esports games right now. And uh, Activision Blizzard is looking to branch off Overwatch into different cities and having certain teams for those cities. So, for example, say the Boston Marines. Uh, I don't know. That's just a name that I pulled out of thin air pretty much. But basically, certain teams are going to be playing for a certain city. And I do have a cool article that's going to be going more in depth with this idea. And you can find that in the bottom of this video. But I do have a quote that I want to say to you guys right now from the article. And it says, Activision Blizzard have openly communicated to these brands their intentions to run a similar league for their Call of Duty series. While still in a very early stages of planning, the launch date could be as soon as six months after the Overwatch League becomes active. So basically this league is pretty much going to be coming up very soon here. And uh, like I said, it could be a huge flop to the Call of Duty series, but it could also benefit the entire franchise by adding more people to the community. And how they could do this is by getting the city's population to cheer for their esports team. I know I definitely would love to have an esports team, a Call of Duty esports team in my city to cheer for and I think that could definitely grow the brand as a whole. But the article does talk about some of the problems that this uh, league is facing right now. One of them is that they can't find sponsors for the league, uh, to sponsor the league and the team as well. And uh, the article does say that the money Blizzard were asking they could have bought into the NFL. A source informed us and Blizzard told them that this league will be bigger than the NFL. At that point they pulled out. So pretty much these guys said that the league is going to be bigger than the NFL and then the sponsors were like nope we're not having this. It's not going to happen happen and I mean that is a very you know safe thing to do because there is a very good chance that this little league could flop and because uh, we don't know how this could you know uh, handle out for Call of Duty especially I think Overwatch it could definitely flourish but for Call of Duty and eh, maybe not so much because right now the community is kind of in this negative state right now uh, every single Call of Duty that's gonna come out there's always gonna be a few people that are gonna be hating on the game but Call of Duty World War 2 does look pretty good the developers are really hyping up this game right now and just from the gameplay that we've seen so far the game looks really really good and the beta is going to be coming out next month here so I'm pretty excited about that guys uh, but I'm really hoping that Call of Duty can kind of rise up from the ashes here and just you know bring the community back together again and breach that number one spot on video games because I just missed that time again I don't know just Call of Duty was a very good time to be playing back like five years ago in Black Ops 1, MW3, MW2 those that was when I really had a lot of fun playing the game and I miss getting on every single day looking forward to getting on every day and uh, coming home from school and just grinding out Call of Duty. I would get my homework done early in school. I'd make sure I finish all of that so I can come home and play Call of Duty. Like those times that I remember back then were really, really fun for me. And I'm hoping that World War II can bring that same feeling once again. So I do think that this Call of Duty League could have a good chance at flourishing. I think it could be a good thing for the series, but it could potentially be something that, you know, just falls and crumbles and, uh, you know, just adds to another meme for Call of Duty. But hopefully it doesn't. If this does happen, the article does say it's going to be taking place sometime within these next couple of months here but really to be honest nobody really knows how franchising could work in Call of Duty esports but uh, a lot of people right now are thinking that maybe every single city is going to have their own certain team so uh, Optic they might be based in Chicago FaZe is going to be in LA but honestly some of the sponsors that are going to be taking over these teams could possibly change the team names to uh, whatever company that they're a part of that's what a lot of people are fearing right now and uh, people are kind of saying that maybe the uh, whole history behind Call of Duty Esports is gonna deplenish and that's one of my main concerns as well with franchising Call of Duty Esports and if this does happen which it probably is gonna end up happening to Esports I really do hope that uh, Esports teams are gonna be able to keep their name but still be based in their city because again this probably is gonna end up happening and uh, also guys there is another thing that I am concerned about and that is there's gonna be less pro events instead teams are probably gonna fly over to other cities and play against each other and their home team so maybe Optic is going to fly over to LA and play a uh, phase that's just one example but again I really do think that there is some potential to this it could definitely uh, bring a lot of attention to Call of Duty 
and definitely esports but at the same time there is a lot of negative aspects that could come out of this so again we really don't know how this could work and just hopefully it all works out for the for the end uh, it is going to be coming out here within a couple months here so just be prepared more information should be coming out soon and if i can find anything i'll be sure to let you guys know about this so tell me your thoughts in the comment section down below guys what do you think about franchising for call of duty esports also drop a like if you guys did enjoy and thanks so much for watching i'm a very so good rest of the day till next time i'll see you guys later